Amaterasu, you made it. B -b busty babe. I saw the crazed water dragon thrashing about from the shore. So I hurried here to the dragon palace, just in case. Oh, you don't need to worry about us. I mean, nothing can stop old Ami here. Not fire, not water, not... Tell me, Amaterasu, what happened to the water dragon? Did he reveal the secret of pen penetrating Oni Island? Hey, it's not nice to interrupt. I was on a roll, babe. Anyway, the water dragon was actually the, dra the Dragonian King. He turned into a dragon to protect the, dra the dragon palace. He even snatched these, these fox rods from their boss. You found the fox rods? Come to think of it, weren't you looking for these, babe? Aren't they the ultimate weapon against the evil beings? Hey, wait a sec. What about what what about what you said about the fox rods? You know, about the ship sinking before they reached Himiko. Why did we search that stupid ship if they were weren't really there? If you're still upset that I put you in danger, I'm sorry. But time is of the essence now. Give me the fox rods quickly. Now you just hold your mel uh, hold you. Uh, now you just hold your bunions, babe. <laughs> I mean, if these monsters are frantically searching for them, whoever has them will have a huge bullseye on their back. Amaterasu. I hope you know what you're doing, you big furball. It's an eerie light they give out, yet somehow alluring. With this, my holy powers will reach their limit. I can destroy every last demon there is. Protecting Queen Himiko with this great power, that is my duty. Don't worry, Amaterasu. I must hurry back to the city now. I shall honor my duty with my life. That spin was not necessary in the slightest, Rao, but you did it just for Isun and his fan service. With your life, don't go getting yourself killed, babe. Aw, oh, she's gone. Ah, <sighs> Isun. Isun. Hey, Ami. Quit, spa pa quit spacing out. We gotta deliver the dragon orb we got from the water dragon to Otohime right away. We probably can't count on the power of the water dragon anymore, but the, dra gr but the dragonians still consider the dragon orb as their treasure. We better return it to them. And we will! This episode. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, we slew the water dragon. It was very sad because we found out that he was actually the king of the dragonians. And we pretty much, we ripped out his heart, literally. The dragon orb is his heart. And also, I'm really proud of myself for not making any jokes concerning the dragon orb. And it's a very similar sounding name to the dragon balls. I'm so, I'm so happy. Okay, so yeah, this episode we're going to be going to Otohime to give her the dragon orb. Even though it's probably useless. Let's go. Okay. Uh, it's a very quick, a very, a very quick walk. We just have to go up here, go up there, and rise up there into the very cool throne room. It's really nice because last episode we got the fox rods with w which Rao was searching for. We got the dragon orb. I'm back, baby. Oh, what a relief to see that you are unharmed. And what of the d dragon orb? You retrieve the dragon orb from the water dragon's body? I have no words to express my gratitude. Now that I have the dragon orb, I can harness the power of the water dragon and break the barrier around Oni Island. 
about that water dragon. It sunk to the bottom of the sea when we took that orb for the orb thing. Does that mean the king of the Dragonians is... I mean, is that king of the Dragonians really your... Yes, it is true. The water dragon was Qu King Wada, my husband. He performed the ancient dra dra Dragonian rite of transformation in order to battle the forces of darkness. But he was gravely wounded and flew into an uncontrollable rage. If the king is dead, then the law of succession must be fulfilled. The dragon orb had to be recovered, whatever the cost. And alas, the cost was ki the king's life. Hear me, Isun. As I have said before, the Dragonians have the resolve to do whatever is necessary. We mustn't hesitate. Now then, Amaterasu, what of the dark instrument of the Dark Lord? Surely you found it lodged in the water dragon's belly. Oh, you mean the fox rods? Queen Himiko's attendant took, took it. She said something about using its power against the evil beings. Himiko's attendant? It is true the dark instrument has unfathomable power. But evil beings are doing all in their power to find it, too. I truly hope this attendant you speak of is trustworthy. All I hope would be lost if it fell back into evil hands. Yikes! What's with this thing? A revelation, perhaps. Perhaps King Wado wishes us to see something before he departs. Do you have an, any idea what that vision meant? Come on, Ami! That was Rao. We have to go. Where are you going, Amaterasu? No time to explain now, babe. We gotta get over to Enkoku Temple quick. Remember, Amaterasu, there is still hope. I shall wait here for Queen Himiko's revelation. Let us meet once again when wherever Oni Island may appear. May the god of sea watch over you. Rao's in trouble, and we have to save her right now. She has the fox rods, and if they fall into enemy hands, it is not good. Okay, uh, I can actually... You know what? Uh, no, I can't. I can't warp that close. Um... You know what? Actually, yes, it would be faster. Let's go ahead and warp to Seon City. And then we can go to Ryushima Coast from there. Because otherwise we're going to have to ride Orca. Wait, hold on a sec, Ami. How far do you plan on traveling using this thing? Uh, man, I... Okay, apparently I cannot skip travel right now. I actually have to go there uh, using Orca. Let's go. Time is a-wasting. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's see. We, the water dragon won't cause any trouble for us now because he's, al alas, he's dead. Uh, but we can get out here. Go over, go over here onto the mainland. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And run the rest of the way. It'll be a long, it'll be a long run, but, uh, we should be able to make it, make it there in pretty decent time. Okay, let's go. There are foxes there, but I do not care. They are not two foxes. They are just foxes. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. If you guys got a close look at that monster, uh... Man, that thing was pretty nasty.
I have no idea why Rao would go to Enkoku Temple for Sanctuary, I guess? Because Seon City was right there. She would have actually had to pass the Seon City gates to get there. It just doesn't make sense that she would try to go to Enkoku Temple instead of Seon City. There she could find re refuge and security under Himiko's um, magical orb, but instead, for some reason, she went to Ankoku Temple. It, all, it makes me wonder, though, why she chose to go there of all places. But we are at the gates of Ankoku Temple. Let's go inside. It was very recent that we got that vision, so... She should still be there. Whoa, it's the busty babe. Huh? She's gone. That was strange. It's like she was beckoning us in there, even though she was under attack just a moment ago. Well, wait, babe, wait. She wants us to follow her? Maybe it's a beacon set by her to lead us to where she is, although we'd already seen that. So, I don't really wa know why she'd send a beacon. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Not again. Where does she want us to go? Uh, let's see. Let's go down this path, which is very strange. This is a well-beaten path. What the? You see that, Ami? That, the busty babe went right through the wall. Yes, I saw it. Uh, this path actually... Oh. Oh, the path actually leads straight to the wall, which is actually a fake wall. And it leads in here. Who would have thought there'd be a secret passage here? You feel a draft coming out of the well? It must lead to that busty babe or I'm Monkey's uncle. Hurry up, Ami. Leap before you think, right? Exactly, let's go. Wait a minute... Hey, there's a body here. Wow, it looks like it's been laying here forever. There's nothing but bones and some clothing left. No. No, or, hmm. Now where have I seen clothes like that before? Hmm. I've seen clothes like that before. A passageway leading... What? This is right next to Himiko's temple. Or... Sorry, Himiko's palace, rather. Huh? Isn't this Himiko's palace? Why is there a tunnel from Ankoku Temple to here? Why indeed, let's go. If the enemy has the fox rods, let's just assume that they do. Uh, Himiko is in for some trouble since this is the last place that we saw Rao. Okay, oh. Your m majesty, C Queen Himiko. Hey, what in the world happened? She's passed out. Luckily, the elevator still works. Or not luckily, but, you know. Okay, uh, I need to re-equip the fire tablet, which is actually down here. Uh, equip it over the peace bell, because we're not going to need the peace bell. Uh, anything else, just to make sure that we are prepared before we go through. Uh, equipment. I'm actually going to re-equip the beads. And that should be good. Let's go. Come on. Okay, we're right, right at the entrance to the throne room. Hopefully we made it in time. Huh? What happened? Hey, pretty lady, Himiko. She's... she's... dead. It was terrifying. A monster ten times my height appeared. It destroyed the magical barrier and left Queen Himiko like that. Busty babe? Is that you? What monster are you talking about? That ginormous thing that attacked you at Ankoku Temple? 
I'm... I'm scared now. The evil beings we must defeat to save the people in the city. Their leader is such a mighty beast. No human could stand up to it. Our feeble mortal resistance is futile. Snap. Himiko said she'd be okay as long as she had that crystal ball. So, how in the world did all this happen? Hey, Ami, why do you keep staring at the busty babe? Himiko's dead. Aren't you at le the least bit sad? What's wrong, Ami? Matarasu, what are you doing? Down, Ami. Have you lost your mind? Are you in the grip of the evil curse as well? Huh? Kanjitsai bosatsu kai jan hanya hara mitaji shoken go on kai ku doisai ku yaku. What the? What's up with those freaky eyes of yours, babe? You're freaking me out. <laughs> well, carrying on with this any longer would spoil the fun. You are a cunning beast, Amaterasu. I lured you into the treasure ship as bait for the water dragon. But you escaped and managed to get your paws on the lucky mallet. You even cleared out the city of poison mist. You, are also st you also started searching for Oni Island to bring down my fortress. And you even managed to tame the mighty water dragon. But, but but now that the water dragon is gone, my fortress is impregnable. Er, impregnable and Himiko is but, what, is but a lifeless corpse. You'll never know where Oni Island is now. <laughs> Luck must be on my side. Occupying the body of this priestess, Rao, made it so simple. Breaking Himiko's magical barrier was easy once I got those close to her. Ami, where's the busty babe we know and love? It's all thanks to this item you got back from the water dragon. All because the fox rods are mine once again. Amaterasu, you foolish beast. You, to think that you parted with this mighty source of magic so easily. Know that it was you who revived the power of the Dark Lord. She's really the Dark Lord? The Grand Master of Evil Beings? The Fox Rods made the Crystal Ball's barrier shatter like glass. Oh, if only you'd be here you'd been here to see Himiko die. I think I'll take the crystal ball with me in the event that one of your path pathetic friends tries to locate me. And if I deal with you now too, Matarasu, nothing will stand in the way of my world of evil beings. Ami, remember the Dragonian King's revelation? He was showing us how Foxface here killed the real busty babe. Boy, she's a real good faker. She had me totally fooled. And look what she did to poor little Himiko. Well, at least we won't have to worry about Oni Island anymore. We're going to finish you off right here. Okay, the battle of evil Rao. It's been a long time coming. Rao's been an integral character for a long time, and to be fighting her is a big surprise. Okay, if you can fight Waka, you can fight Rao. Uh, she will use those daggers, but power slashing them will not do anything. Uh, you can actually just keep running, and they will not hit you. There have been a... well, I, sh I should go into the battle a little bit more. Uh, her true her true virtue are her, ra are her uh, melee attacks. As you can see, her range attacks are not that good. Uh, but... When she uses a diving attack, she will be left... We have not seen her diving attack yet, but if she uses Ow, a, a diving attack, she'll be left vulnerable. So you want to stay close and get ready to use uh, Fleetfoot. 
Okay, we can go ahead and power slash these. There we go. But like I said, does nothing. So just keep keep being ready to use Fleet Foot and power slash these daggers as necessary. Okay. Um, it's been it's been hinted a lot hinted at that Rao had alternative intentions for a long time now. Uh, when we fa when she ran away with us from the water dragon, as you remember, she left us there to to uh, be vulnerable. However, you notice that the water dragon actually did not go after us after she left, even though we were the closest to the water dragon. Uh, she the water dragon actually went after her instead of us, only going after us after Rao had completely escaped it. And also, when we met back with Rao after after escaping the water dragon, she was extremely surprised that we had survived. Thus, she had expected us to die. Also, another thing that hint, hints at her at her true identity is let's go ahead and actually use a vengeance slip because this is getting pretty bad. Is um when when she uses her her uh what what are they called power slips? I don't know. When she use oh her prayer when she uses her prayer slips in the sunken ship, she needs us to guide them, thus hinting that she's actually cannot control them on her own. Although the real Rao, if you remember, uh, we talked with a man outside of Rao's headquarters in Seon City, and he had mentioned how he had seen her fighting once, and that she was a very strong fighter. So it doesn't make sense that Rao wouldn't be able to control her own weapon, and would need us to do it. Okay, we have her now, Ami. Let's finish off that fox-headed wench. Ignorant fools. Do you really think it would be that easy? I have powers beyond belief. Here is but a taste of what the Dark Lord can do. Hmph. <laughs> Petty deity, it is only the size of this room that saved you. It is far too small for me to unleash my true fury. However, Resistance is futile, for you, your last remaining hope is gone. I shall now return to Oni Island and rally my dark forces. Then we'll go forth and crush all who stand against the darkness. A Matarasu had allowed the Dark Lord to slip away. The, di the display of evil sent chills down the wolf's spine. A Matarasu and Isun were left to wallow in overwhelming sadness. Himiko had remained steadfast in her quest to find Oni Island. In the end, she lost her life at the hands of the Dark Lord. With Himiko, di with, with Himiko died all clues to the location of Lo Oni Island. Amaterasu and Isun were left with nary a shred of hope. Giving up on their quest seemed the only option. That's when they noticed that the blood-caked crystal ball spewed forth by the Dark Lord's near by the Dark Lord clearly displayed an image of Himiko. Isun, doubting his eyes, listened intently as Himiko began speaking. She explained that Oni Island would not be easy to find, and she had she had determined to become ethereal and enter the crystal ball herself in search of clues. She had allowed herself to be consumed in order to use the Dark Lord's power. She was also aware that the Dark Lord now possessed the Fox Rods. All was planned. Himiko's, e Himiko's will infused the crystal ball with great power. The fortress housing the Dark Forces materialized. 
o Oni Island appeared only at sunset in a certain location. The place revealed by the crystal ball was none other than a spot just off the northwest shore of Ryushima Coast, near the spot known as Watcher's Cape. Oni Island would appear again at the Watcher's Cape in the next sunset. A small glimmer of hope returned to our hero's hearts, just as the image of Oni Island faded from the crystal. A deep crack appeared and split Himiko's image. She had paid the ultimate price for manipulating the dark power. The crystal itself had been spent. The destiny of Himiko's very soul had been inextricably intertwined with that crystal ball. A burst of blinding light heralded the crystal's demise. Himiko's soul was caught up in the shattered fragments and drifted serenely towards the heavens above, even as she prayed fervently for Amaterasu's safe passage. Ami, the sun's gonna set soon. Oni Island's going to disappear. That revelation Himiko ris risked her life to tell us. Whatever we do, we can't let it go to waste. Who cares if we can't break the barrier on Oni Island? Let's make a beeline for Watcher's Cape, Ami. Okay. We know we know where it is. Himiko's gone. Himiko. It can't be. Poor Himiko. We've known her for such a short time, and yet you do become attached to her. Like, you you've you've known her since you came to Ryushima Coast. You've heard of her, but you didn't meet her until just recently. But still, when she goes, she was a constant that you've known for a while. You've all you've known about her existence for quite some time. It's even hinted at in the beginning of the game when it talks about Waka going to the capital to see the queen. You even see her immediately after you defeat Orochi. You see you see her talking into her crystal ball, and you see Waka's response. She was Waka's superior, and you knew Waka as someone who could not be reasoned with, at least by uh, from us. He was someone that would not listen to what we said, and yet he had a superior, and we heard about her from episode, like, 25. And now she's gone. And someone who we've heard, we heard about as a bastion of hope and light to the people of Seon City turned out to be the bad guy. Well, girl, you know. She turned out to be the evil that we've been trying to defeat all along, and yet we ended up helping her in multiple instances and it's just it's so angering to see that to see that we helped her kill Himiko we helped her kill the water dragon we helped her do all this stuff but it ends here it ends next episode thank you guys so much for watching I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. Do not miss next episode, where we will be going into the Oni Island. Now that we have its destination, now that we know its destination, Evil Rao or the Dark Lord's trickery will end. It's really sad that Rao's Rao's identity had to be tarnished like that because what we had heard of Rao was good things. We had heard that she actually was a Bastion of Hope, and she was. It wasn't a false identity, it was actually her identity that had end up, that had been taken over by the Dark Lord. This How on earth did you get into the city? Security's so tight, no one should be able to get through. Oh well, I don't suppose we need to worry about a dog too much. You look far too cute to be a demon in disguise anyway. It is that thinking that got Himiko killed. It is exactly that thinking. So, with great success comes great tragedy. In this case, greater tragedy. Evening is almost upon us, so I'll end this episode here. I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami, where we will storm Oni Island. We have, we have some allies. We have the Dragonians. All hope is not lost. But the fate of this part of Nippon, actually no, of all of Nippon, rests on Ami's shoulders. 
I'll see you guys next time for another Pal Plays Okami.